Cicely Paris Titin Tint Tint Tinted Tinted. Hey guys, we're gonna be doing a full day wear test today. I have the Cicely tinted sunscreen cream in one natural. So if you're interested in watching me apply it, do a check-in, do my final review at the end of the day, then just keep on watching. Alrighty, so this is a product that I just hauled in my Sicily Paris haul video. I was really excited to try this. I've been I've been eyeing this product for a little while and I had my La Mer Reparative Skin Tint, which uh, doesn't have an SPF 30, which is what this has. The skin tint has, oh no, I'm a total liar. It has this SPF 30 as well. <laughs> I've been very curious about this product for a very long time. This by no means is a new product at all. This has been around for a long time. And now that La Mer has discontinued their reparative skin tint, I've been on this, I don't know, this mission to kind of like start playing around with all these different tinted sunscreens. And of course it started as a way to kind of fill the void of the skin tint, but now I'm just like curious about tinted sunscreens in general. So I thought I would give this a shot. I've really been falling in love with Sicily products in general. I'm gonna go ahead and open it first. It has a nice little safety seal over the lid here. And when I purchased this, I tried it on at the counter and this has a much fuller coverage than the La Mer Skin Tint, than the Chantecaille Just Skin, and even more than the Chanel La Beige Healthy Glow Moisturizing Tint that also has an SPF. Anyway, this has much fuller coverage than that. I am not necessarily a full coverage fan, so I'm not gonna use a lot of this product, but in the future, not today, because I do wanna just kinda do like a full day wear test for you, um, but in the future, I may just add like a little bit of cream to dilute it or something like that, but that was just a random thought that I had <laughs> regarding this since it is a fuller coverage so I'm just gonna squeeze a bit out onto the back of my hand it has a nice kind of creamy texture there I'm gonna spread it around a little bit so you can see the shade and so I'm going to lightly dab this on my face it has a scent I don't think it's fragranced but it has a scent it's a very Sicily spa like scent I don't actually see the word fragrance in the ingredient deck, just so you know. And then the active ingredients, the sunscreen in here is titanium dioxide, 15.43%, and zinc oxide, 10.89%. So I'll just start with this little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Sonia G Base One brush and just work that through. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit with the brush from the back of my hand here. I'm gonna squirt out just a little bit more. Pick it up with my brush and just go over my eye area that I think needs a little bit more coverage. I really like the texture of this product. It really is very, very, uh, creamy, it's a little bit on the thicker side, which I like, but I just like really creamy, rich feeling foundations. I really feel like those are very comfortable on my skin. The ones that are a little bit thinner, I always feel like, I don't know, like they dry out my skin a little bit. So, so far, the, the texture of this is sort of living up to my expectations. It feels very, very comfortable on the skin. And I like that you can go light and not have like a super full coverage, but this is totally, totally buildable. In fact, let's see how buildable it is. I have, you know, that kind of like reddish discoloration around my jaw. I have some pretty prominent like sunspots here on my cheeks. So let's see if we can like cover those up a little bit more. I just squirted out just a little bit more. I'm picking it up with the brush and I'm just gonna apply directly to those areas. Ooh, you know what I like too? I don't feel like I'm, I'm like working this product in too much to blend it in. It's like blending in very, very easily, very smoothly, without a lot of effort. All right, there we go. I do feel like it has camouflaged a lot of the discoloration that I have around my cheek area. And the finish is very skin-like. There isn't a lot of radiance. There is less radiance than the La Mer Reparative Skin Tint, unfortunately. I would prefer something with a little bit more radiance, but it feels really, really nice. It feels very far from drying. It feels very, very nourishing. So, so far so good. I don't even feel like I need to powder this. I don't know. I feel like maybe it could transfer, but it doesn't feel like really tacky, or wet in any way. It really feels like you just put on some like moisturizer, if that's what it feels like. I should probably set it. 
I should probably set it. So before I head off and finish up my makeup, let's do some close-ups. I'm gonna just kind of slowly pan down from my forehead to my chin, and you can see that it has a really beautiful finish. It is very, very skin-like. The coverage is there. This definitely has more coverage than the La Mer. I would say it has a little bit more coverage than the Chantecai. The Chantecai actually surprisingly has more coverage than you would think, but I still think that this one has a little bit more. And if you've been with me for a while, you know my forehead, my nose area, my chin, those are always sort of my problem areas where things will either cling to texture or break up funny or just look cakey, which happens around my chin. I don't see any of that happening at the moment. And I think the color match is really good. So I am happy with this so far, uh, but we are definitely going to do a full day wear test with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. So I'll be back around noon, early afternoon to give you my first check-in and I will see you then. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back to do my check-in. It's about 1.45 in the afternoon. I don't think in my intro I talked about when I started. I always forget that, but it was about nine o'clock in the morning. So I've had this makeup on for about four, almost five hours. And I was just checking out my face in the mirror and I am very, very happy with this. Uh, tinted sunscreen so far. I don't feel like it has broken up or done anything weird. So we'll do a close-up now. We'll start with the forehead. We'll pan down to the chin and I just think it looks really nice on the skin. It doesn't look like it's deteriorated at all. It hasn't faded. I think the finish is really nice. It hasn't broken up around my nose, which is generally where foundation will start to break up. Granted, we're not even five hours in, but uh, it is looking very, very good. And generally with things like tinted sunscreens, tinted moisturizers, uh, they tend to, I think, either start to look a little bit more dry or they start to look a little bit more radiant, which I don't really Really mind too much but this is like really holding true <laughs> to its like original form it looks still very very skin like it has a very natural finish uh, granted I have put on some finishing powder on top because I'm still testing out the Charlotte Tilbury uh, genius magic powder uh, so I thought I would kill two birds with one stone today doing that but um, I only kind of focused it here on my cheeks I didn't really put it anywhere else. So I feel like the finish that you see basically in my T-zone is still very, very consistent with how it looked earlier this morning. So I'm very happy with this. I also wanted to mention, I should have mentioned this when I first applied it, but there's been no oxidization. It hasn't like changed color um, at all. I'm also not noticing any kind of white cast to my skin. And that's always my concern with anything that has a sunscreen in it. So, so I'm very happy to say that I don't see any of that kind of like peeking through. I had tested a Decorte uh, Sheer Brilliance, I think it's called, and it has an SPF in there. And when I had first applied that product, I thought it had looked really nice. But then it was sort of like as the day went on, the uh, like foundation part of it would fade and the SPF part of it really kind of like stuck around. And so my skin started to look chalkier and chalkier as the day went on and drier and drier. And I'm not seeing that with this product. So I'm very, very happy. So I'll be back at the end of the day to give you my final thoughts, but so far, two thumbs up. I'll see you then. <laughs> Hey guys, it's about five o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm here to give you my final, final word, at least for today, on this foundation or tinted sunscreen. I think it's stupendous. I think my skin looks great. I think it looks pretty much exactly the same as when it did first thing this morning when I first applied it. And I'm seeing a little bit of fading around my nose, but that's no surprise. I blew my nose a couple of times. I have a little bit of allergies. So I'm not surprised that you see a little bit of redness around my nose there. But other than that, I feel like everything looks like untouched. It's actually pretty amazing. So let me do some close-ups here. Again, I'll pan down from the forehead down to my chin. But yeah, it's not, there's no like breaking up. It doesn't look like, you know, sometimes when you have makeup on all day, it just starts to look like old makeup. Even if you can't really put your finger on it, like it hasn't faded, it hasn't really clumped up, but it'll just start to look old. This does not even look close to that. This looks like I just put this makeup on. I think it looks really, really good. And you guys hear me say this all the time, like how important it is for me that makeup is comfortable on my skin, that I don't like feel it. And this is definitely very, very comfortable on my skin. I don't feel it. I feel like I'm wearing um, skincare, which is wonderful. And for something that has like a bit more coverage than 
the skin tint, then my Chantecaille, then other sort of like very comfortable foundations. I'm really, really surprised. You know, I had high hopes for this because it's Sicily and I really love Sicily products and their products are really just top notch quality. But in terms of it being like a tinted sunscreen, in terms of it being um, something with a full coverage, or a fuller coverage, I just personally didn't have like super high expectations. I just thought, well, it has SPF, it'll be good for my skin anyway, let me just go ahead and purchase it. I'll probably wear it once I'm done with my La Mer reparative skin tint, but I really like this. Like I'm really kind of blown away by how nice my skin looks. So this tinted sunscreen gets a very, very big two thumbs up for me. I'm a big, big fan. If you guys use this and you like it, if you use it and you don't like it, definitely comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this for sure, but I am really digging this. This is really, really lovely. So anyway, that is my full day wear test for the Sicily Tinted Sunscreen Cream in the color One Natural. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.